show and its purpose is to entertain the viewers. Now the next one is the children. So of course for the term children, this is an educational video for children or educational presentation for children uh, that uh, captivates the interest of the children and then at the same time they are educated and they are going to learn from the video. Next is the drama. So let's say drama, the focus of this genre is um, it is highly emotional. So um, it includes um, uh, the character is uh, having a highly uh, emotions from facing problems or um, that's what we call drama or highly emotional. So the next one is fantasy. When we say fantasy, it includes magic and supernatural creatures. So when we say magic, it is unrealistic. It includes unrealistic characters. Supernatural creatures are the creatures who are the product of someone's imagination. So it is a product of imagination. That's what we call it. Uh, that's why we call it fantasy. So the genres of movie are educational, to educate, variety show to entertain children, to um, educational uh, presentation for children, drama, highly emotional, fantasy. It includes magic and supernatural creatures. Good day everyone. So this afternoon I'm going to discuss about the gender of nouns. So before that, I'm going to discuss or we're going to explain what is a noun. So a noun is a name of a person, places, or things, or an idea. So that is a noun. If you will say person, of course, literally, that is a name of a person, just like Juan, Pedro, Maria. So that is a name of a person. When you say places, so what is? Manukan, Zabuanga, America, so that's it. Or when you say things, so that is chairs, chairs, uh, chairs, tables, stands, and etc. So that is a noun, remember? A noun is the name of a person, places, or things, or it may be an idea. Now there are four, four gender of nouns. So when you say gender, it refers to the sexuality of a noun. So first, it is the masculine gender. So what is the masculine gender? So masculine gender refers to the male form. So for example, Pedro, because Pedro is a male. So, so masculine gender refers to the male form. So it is the male, of course, it refers to a boy. So for example, we have Pedro, we have father. Of course, father is a man. It refers to a boy. Because no father than a girl. No girl, no, no father not a man. It is a man. So next is we have the feminine gender. So feminine gender is the females or the girl. So it refers to the female form. For so example, we have Maria. Thank you. 
normative test that is next to it. So again, what we have now is a name of a person, places or things, or it may be an idea. Then we have the four gender of nouns. We have the masculine that refers to the male form. We have the feminine gender refers to the female forms. And the neuter gender that refers to the non-living things and plants. And we have the common gender that refers to the living things, but maybe either masculine or feminine. So again, when we say masculine, it refers to a man. Infinitely a man. We have Pedro, father, brother, uncle. So those are masculine form. So feminine, we have Maria, Grace, uh, we have a, what we call a fairy, we have mother, mother. So those are feminine gender. We knew the non living things and plants. So you know really what are non living things and plants. Those are self explanatory. And common gender refers to the living things, but maybe either masculine or feminine. So we have the nurse, doctors, teachers, so lawyers. So that's all. That's all for today, and thank you so much. Another part of the review is the active and passive voice. So you have that in your in your previous learning activity sheet. So we are going to discuss here the active voice and the passive voice. So when you see active voice, the subject is the doer of the action. So when we say doer of the action, the subject does the action. So the example of active voice here, the teacher instructs the students to perform the experiment. So what is the subject here? The teacher. What did the teacher do? Instructs. So, this is an active voice because the subject is the doer of the action. The next one, we have passive voice. In passive voice, the subject is the receiver of the action. So, from the first example, the active voice, we uh, converted it into passive voice. It becomes what? The experiment was performed by the students as in instructed by the teacher. So the teacher now is the receiver of the action. And mostly in passive voice, we are going to use why to introduce the subject. And again, active voice, the subject is the doer of the action. Passive voice, the subject is the receiver of the action. And the example here shows that active voice and passive voice are different from one another. So, if you are given the chance to choose, are you an active voice or 